morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Daily Snap Picks, the show where we pick the news. Uh, we have to pick five news articles every day among the most shared news on social media. Now, let's stop. Uh, sorry, let's start with um, looking at the 20 most shared articles on Facebook. First one is Bologna signs former Palermo forward. Okay, so this is football news. Our target demographic is North America. So it won't be able to make it just because football is a less popular sport here. Company fires white man who called cops on black women using pool. Called cops on black women using pool. A white man who asked to see idea of a black woman who was using a neighborhood swimming pool has been fired. Okay, I mean, I guess I, it's a good story, uh, but it's very, it's just too... Two locals involved. Um, we'll see if there's anything better. PM Modi's remarks at my farewell departure for normal practice. Um, seems like Indian politics. Indian politics less interesting to North America. Journal politics, international politics, maybe not so. Uh, and uh, Dazzle in Paris. So this is uh, Indian pop culture, I think. Um, so Al Kelly keen to work in Go Go Agon again. Uh, okay, well, it's uh, Bollywood stuff. Bollywood stuff. Justin Baker engaged to Haley Baldwin. No idea who Haley Baldwin is. But Justin Bieber is a big enough character for people to uh, be interested in his life. Trump administration shocks global health officials by opposing pro breastfeeding resolution. Okay, well... I'm not surprised. We generally avoid Trump news articles here because otherwise the news would be filled with Trump. Trump dominates the news. Uh, Supreme Court orders to put Zardari, Frail, Tulpur, 20 others on ECL. Okay. Reporters claim... Uh, it's very specific. About 20 people. Is are these people I should know? No. Uh, report claims Spurs have nearly wrapped up 16 million deal for Columbia Star. Okay, Sp sports news. Um, unless there's very big sports news, it tends to not make it. North Korea calls U.S. attitude towards talks gangster-like. And cancer is rejecting Pompeo's assessment. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Trump news, violent political threats are serious and sorry to spin out dangerously out of control, but instead of weather underground, like, uh, bum, 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 bum. now it's just, uh, socialist extremist groups like Antifa once again advocating violence against their political opponents. Just last August, while I was traveling in my, in my house district, my next door neighbor called me to say his kids were fired by a large group of activists protesting on my lawn and my porch just yards away from his home. I was trying to buy a house to some neighborhoods. House Majority Whip Steve Scalise was shot and nearly killed at a congressional baseball practice last year by a gunman who said he was deliberately targeting Republicans over political differences. And while violence was not involved, there were a number of recent news reports of harassment over White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders' Homeland Security. This is interesting. Fact check. Trump once warned to prove her Native American heritage. Could she? Okay. Uh, that's more Trump news. We got China to buy the short hair as Wall Street trader predicts long-term U.S. success in trade war. Okay, that's one trader. <sighs> Traders often have different opinions. And there's nothing to really say one trade is better than the other uh, in on, on one specific opinion. Maybe if you look at all of a trader's history and the thousands of trades, you could say globally they've been successful, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're right on any one call. Manchester United players progress to the 2018 World Cup. Same, okay, uh, just because it's a uh, Belgian team. That's my team. Report Tiger Phil working on $10 million match. Okay, well, that's uh, tennis. I think Brexit secretary did... David Davis resigns. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I was appointed Brexit secretary. 
has resigned from UK government. His resignation in the United States after Theresa May secured cabinet backing for her Brexit plan, despite claims from Brexiters that it was too soft. Okay, that's funny. Uh, health insurance warns of market turmoil as Trump suspends billions in payments. Uh, the Trump administration says, Sarah, that it was suspending a program that pays billions of dollars to insurers to stabilize the health insurance markets under the Affordable Care Act, a freeze that could increase uncertainty in the markets and drive up premiums this fall. Many insurers that enroll large numbers of unhealthy people depend on the risk adjustment payments, which are intended to reduce the incentives for insurers to seek out healthy consumers and shun those with chronic illnesses and other pre-existing conditions. I mean, it says Trump in the article, but um, that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, let's look at Reddit. Uh, thousands participate in Brussels. Trump not in not welcome march ahead of NATO summit. Uh, not surprised. Uh, similar stuff happened around Bush uh, in in Quebec uh, when Bush was president. FEC calls out Ted Cruz campaign three times for exceeding donation limits. Uh, committee received three letters from the Federal Election Commission that this election cycle for accepting campaigns that exceed federal limits. Uh, FC word first reported uh, Houston Chronicle campaign that gave to Cruz campaign above 2,700 individual contribution. Well, it's not saying how much though. Uh, Trump, a puppet for outside groups making Supreme Court pick. Okay, not surprised Dems would say that. Mysterious source of illegal ozone killing emissions revealed, says investigators. The Environmental Investigative Agency, a non-governmental organization, has identified widespread, widespread use of CFC-11 factories in China that make insulating foam. We were dumbfounded when out, out of 21 companies, 18 of them across trying to confirm use of CFC-11 while acknowledging the illegality and being very blase about its use. Okay, China is a major producer of rigid foams. Okay. Told you that 90% is foam. Okay. But how much is it actually affecting the ozone is the question. Ah, uh, trying to, okay, not surprised. Can I as open Holocaust denier, that's scary. Uh, formaldehyde causes cancer. The EPA doesn't want to acknowledge it. Uh, okay. U.S. soybean farmers, I mean, maybe. A whole bunch of maybes. U.S. soybean farmers want Trump trade war. Uh, with China will cost your sanity and just see, yeah, we know that because China's tariffs on soy. Democrats league eye popping 12 points. Okay, okay. U.S. offices international resolution to promote breastfeeding. We're not surprised. Local who says NBN doesn't cut it, cut it band together to boost bandwidth. Locals who say NBN doesn't cut it band together to boost bandwidth uh, in Australia. Uh, have used MEM Sky Muster Satellite Service, which was designed to deliver internet to rural areas. So in the era of content streaming, so satellite options are were unusable. We were promised MBN would be superior service to ADSL connections, but the realities were very different, which has been looking for a solution for communities' internet woes. In a statement, a spokesperson has said so determined satellite was the best technology How are they going to boost bandwidth? And my question. But CEO Aaron Levy says mistrust of Google and Facebook is a contagion that could spread to every tech company. <sighs> I mean, maybe. Uh, does not merely permit fabrications against Democratic parties. Okay. Uh, incurs and rewards and Trump's, uh, shocks. Okay. U.S. Senate, U.S. Trade War. Okay. 
war has begun a shooting war could be next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A clear project. Yeah, okay. Trump tells uh, the New York Times, delete your account. <sighs> okay. With one point billion revenue milestone. That's incredible. Um, Thai Cave Rescue resumes free. Eight boys and coach still trapped. Billionaire Ray Dalio AI widening wealth, like widening the wealth gap. Natural emergency should be declared. Uh, interesting. Michigan State football hero to join U.S. Air Force. Okay, um, we gotta whittle these down. There's too many articles, so the, the list of interesting stuff is gonna go. Justin Bieber highly likely to make it just for its click click baitiness. So who's this lady? Haley Baldwin, Saturday night. Oh, she's the daughter of uh, one of the Baldwins. Wow. Okay. North Korea. Oh, oh well, I'm getting blocked, so it's not going to be that. Violent people are serious and starting to spit dangerously out of control. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, Brexit Secretary quitting. Interesting. Al insurance as Trump suspends billion. Just Trump's in the title, but it is interesting. Uh, oh, I needed to confirm what uh, what is it responsible for killing the ozone? Like, what percentage? Is it responsible? Uh, easy to produce. For its use is a fine. The profit margins were very high, the demand was high, and the risks were very low. As for uh, EER report acknowledges a of uncertainties in its calculation, but believes that it has been conservative in estimates 10,000 to 12,000 tons a year of CSE leaking into the atmosphere from foam making China. Certain emissions between 8,000 and 8,000 in the same period. Yeah, but you're not telling us to what degree it might be responsible. I mean, maybe. Uh, Trump's... This is wording Trump. In between the health insurer and the formaldehyde, I think the health insurance is slightly more interesting, at least to me. NBN frustration prompts community to take high speed. To, okay, so how are they doing it? Um, it okay, we was going to provide source. Uh, NBN with a $200 per month delivering 12. Right, satellite. Okay. Uh, um, so seven, more than half of you back the idea. Okay, which what's the idea? Uh, so uh, as the group is proposing hiring a commercial company to build a private fiber network for four thousand residents. Okay, uh, I mean that's not easy. Uh, book CEO Aaron Levy says mistrust of Google and Facebook is a contagion that can spread to every tech company. Uh, the worst case scenario for us is that Silicon gets so far behind on these issues that w we just can't be trusted as an industry. He isn't worried about his company box being regulated, but he is worried about what happens if the government has to do something about Facebook. It's a contagion because it's going to reduce the trust in these types of platforms said on the Bus clients include some of the biggest companies, Coca Cola, blah, 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 blah. Vested interest in seeing Google and Facebook resolve their issues and get on a good footing with wannabe tech regulators in the government. The worst case scenario is okay. We rely on Fortune 500 trusting Silicon Valley technology to some extent for our success when we see that tools. They're a huge B2B company. Uh, I mean, doesn't really mean to make much to me. Or I'm not sure how it means much to anyone. Inner Ray Dalio, AI is widening the wealth gap. National emergency should be declared.
Uh, billionaire hedge founder Ray Dalio says artificial and automation are improving productivity, but also causing a dramatic wealth gap in national issue. Cho Keef, investment officer and co-chairman of Bridgewater Association, shares his thoughts in a Facebook post on Thursday. Delia says he's responding to a question about whether machine intelligence would put enough people out of work that the government will pay people to live with a cash handout, a concept known as universal vacancy income. My view is that algorithm automated decisions are making a two-edged sword that is improving total productivity, but is eliminating jobs, leading to a big wealth and opportunity gaps and populism and creating a national emergency. Largely as a result of it, capitalism is not working for the majority of Americans and is in jeopardy, he writes. Yet no one is seriously examining what to do about it. Indeed. Okay. Uh, in June, that a universal income is an appropriate response to income inequality I mean, maybe billionaires talking about income income uh, equality uh, 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 so one two three four okay let's get the billionaires in there guardian always makes it so an episode without the guardian isn't going to kill anyone uh brexit Secretary resigning seems less interesting. Uh, violent political threats are serious and starting to spin dangerously out of... Okay, so let's start with that. So here are five news articles. First is Rep. Jason Lewis, violent political threats are serious and starting to spin dangerously out of control. Second is billionaire Ray Dalio, AI is winding the wealth gap, national emergency should be declared. Third is wealth insurers warn of market turmoil as Trump suspends billions in payments. Fourth is Beck Secretary Davis, uh, David Davis resides. And fifth is Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin get engaged. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think should have made it. And hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.